Hey everybody, welcome back to Connerty Meadows Farm. My name is Ricky and today let's go over three ways that we preserve carrots here on our farm. We are digging up the carrots from the garden. We are at the end of October here in Canada and uh, we get lots of snow and lots of cold. The first way that we preserve carrots and probably one of the most common ways is we freeze them. We just cut them up, clean them, cut them, bag them, and put them in the freezer. The next way that you can preserve carrots is canning them. So these are all pressure canned. I can them with uh, brown sugar or maple syrup just to give them a sweet flavor. The third way that we preserve carrots here on the farm is that we put them in a container in our cellar layered with peat moss, sand, and shavings. So what is so special about the third method that we're using today? Well, last season when we did this, we were still eating fresh carrots in March, crispy and sweet, just like we had pulled them out of the garden. And that's the beauty with preserving the carrots this way for the winter months. In March, you're still gonna be eating delicious, crisp carrots. In fact, by the time June rolled around, there was some little tiny baby carrots that I had missed, and I was able to actually take them out of the mix, put them back in the garden, and let them go to seed, and then I have my seeds for next season's planting because I was able to overwinter the carrots. I have company helping me dig carrots out. You want that kitty? No? Garden kitties everywhere. <laughs> you want that? Fun kitty. Goocher. Yeah, that's why I don't have a lot of rodent problems in my garden. I didn't thin these carrots very well. They're just small guys. Oh, there's the odd one in there. That's pretty big. Hey. Sometimes you have no idea what kind of monsters you're going to pull out of the ground. <laughs> this is a black nebula. Um... I, I think it's a little more like um, an octopus, if you ask me. It's hilarious. Each of the little roots on the side is growing a new carrot. Garden vegetables are so fun. So now that we've got our carrots dug up, the next thing that we're going to do is put our mixture together so that it's pre-mixed so that as I'm packing the carrots it's already all mixed. So we're going to need some shavings. Some sand and some peat moss. Now of the ingredients the shavings and the peat moss are dry. The sand has been sitting outside and it's wet and I've let it stay wet because your carrots do need to be a bit damp but not soaking wet. Man, those bags are heavy. Okay, so we're gonna have about equal amounts of each. It doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't like down to a science. We're just going to go ahead and mix this all together. Now I like mixing things with my hands because I can see and feel that way. Is it uh, too damp? Is it not damp enough? You don't have to mix with your hands. So you can see it's a nice mixture. It's uh, 
no pockets of one kind or the other in here. Beautiful. So this is what our mixture looks like. It's a little bit damp, you can tell, because some still sticks to my hand, but it's not wet. You can see, that's how you know that it's still damp. My hands are still gonna get dirty. This is, I'd say, a pretty even mixture. All right, let's move on to the next step. These are the two containers that I've chosen to put my carrots in this year. The reason why I chose these ones is because they actually fit straight down in my potato bin. I have a very, very large potato bin, and these are going to go on either side of the potato bin, and then the potatoes are going to go in the middle. So this is gonna differentiate between the carrots and the potatoes. I don't put the potatoes in any kind of mix, they just go straight into that potato bin. So let's go ahead and get our first layer down into these bins. We just wanna cover the bottom of the bins so that the carrots aren't going to be straight onto the plastic. Now, when you are choosing the carrots that you're going to put into long-term storage like this, you need to choose the best ones. If they have any scrapes, blemishes, um, not quite 100%, either go ahead and pressure can those into jars or freeze them in freezer bags. They're, they will not last in long-term storage this way if they have any kind of blemish. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've just snapped all the tops off. We're not cutting, we are not damaging the carrot in any way. We're also not washing them. So this carrot still has the dirt on it from the garden and that is perfectly fine. What we're going to do is we're going to lay it like this inside this container and we're going to make sure that as we lay the carrots down, they are not touching any other carrots or the sides of the walls. And so usually what I'll do is I'll put one carrot like this and then the next carrot like this. So top up on the first one, bottom up on the next one. And that way I can fit more in the container. Purple nebulas. This is what the carrots look like now in the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put a layer on top of that. Just carefully bring it over here. And we'll put the next layer down. You don't want any of the carrots to be touching each other. So I can still see some carrots through on the corner there. Just gonna throw a little extra on. All right, and now we are ready to put the next row in. There we have our next row. Now we're gonna add another round. We're gonna go ahead and keep doing that until both bins are completely filled to the top. I couldn't go on without showing you that I actually do get some really big carrots sometimes. They're not all puny and tiny. Sometimes they're pretty big. And while this carrot is fun and funky, it's a black nebula, uh, this is not a carrot that you wanna put into storage, long-term storage anyway. This will make an excellent dinner carrot or you can cut it up and freeze it or pressure can it. Not for in here with these guys. I'm gonna get a carrot here and I'm gonna show you what I do for the tops. So, nice beautiful carrot. This one is definitely one that I wanna put into long-term storage. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna twist it off. This is now gonna get set aside and it's gonna get fed to the goats or the sheep or the cow or the horse. Any one of my animals will absolutely enjoy that. 
And that is what the top is gonna look like. You don't wanna cut down into the carrot because then it won't last in long-term storage. <laughs> Lots of green, no carrot. That is going to be fed. Let's go give the uh, cow and the goats a treat. They're gonna love this. Ready? My garden cat, Ash. What are you doing, bud? Yeah, you're gonna have to move. All right, so these are the carrots that I am going to be freezing or pressure canning. Um, I don't have any more room in the top of these. So I'm going to top these off with the sand. And the reason why I wanna do that is the sand is damp and then it'll seal in the freshness for all of these. And then I'm not going to probably touch these until later in the season. We'll probably go through the frozen ones and the pressure canned ones first. I'm just going to get this together and move, Mr. Ashy Poo. Oh, come on, Garden Kitty. We got to get these out of here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> he didn't move. I had to wheel the wheelbarrow out from beside him. What a goofball. He's so chill in the garden. He's Sarabi. Hey, what are you doing out, buddy? Sorry, the lighting isn't the greatest in here. It's just a little uh, wand light. Anyway, so you can see I've got one bin there and I've got one bin there. And then the rest of this bin can now be filled with all of the potatoes I have. And then we put the lid on. So sorry, it's a little cramped in here. My cellar's a little small, but I'm so thankful to have one. Uh, Thomas just made me this cellar uh, this just a couple weeks back actually this fall so I'm super thankful to have it and get all of our canned goods in it and uh, be able to put the potatoes and the carrots in here as well we've got uh, potatoes carrots garlic pumpkin squash and then all of our canned goods in here thanks for hanging out with us on the farm I hope this uh, carrot video is helpful for you to figure out how you like to best store your carrots. I will do an update video in maybe February or March and I'll show you what the carrots uh, look like and I will try to see if I can uh, crunch one, like break it for you so you, that you can hear how crisp and how uh, well they've stored. Obviously you're not gonna be able to taste how sweet they are uh, staying in storage like this. But there's always uh, this way of canning and uh, of course putting them in the freezer if you don't want to store long-term in a potato box or some sort of box. All right guys, we'll see you next time.